Hi, I'm Dr. Pat Mangan. You are about to view a short video about your toddler from the doctors here at Washingtonville Pediatrics. Let's start with a look at how your two-year-old is developing from our friends at Simply Parenting. By far, the biggest and most exciting achievement for two-year-olds is in language development. It's broken some pieces. Oh, it's not broken. It's Your child should now have a vocabulary of at least 60 words. Puppy doggy? Yeah, butterfly. Butterfly. He or she will walk around naming objects and eventually begin forming two-word sentences. Okay, got it, I got it. Correcting a child's grammar at this stage is not helpful. No, there's no water in there. This one doesn't squirt water. Letting a child know that you understand what he or she is saying is much more important. Oh, you know what this is. Kids this? this age also practice imitative speech, huh? meaning they'll repeat everything Ball. you say. Ball. Ribbit. 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 In addition, Ball. you should refrain from imitating your child's baby talk. He or she may think that these cute mispronunciations are correct. Stop. Catch me? It's also a frustrating time for two-year-olds physically. <laughs> they can run, but they can't stop very smoothly. <laughs> They'll learn to stand on one foot, but they won't master hopping. You're not holding on? They'll try to go down the stairs, but they can't alternate feet. Minimize opportunities for injury. Then cheer your child on for Thank his or her you. efforts. Your child may also be able to toss a ball. But don't go buying that baseball mitt just yet. You won't know whether your child's a righty or a lefty until a little later. Your two-year-old can now help you turn the pages of his or her favorite storybook. Got it? Mm-hmm. This is Doug Brewer. And you'll see artistic abilities improve. Good. Many two-year-olds can draw a straight line, a circle, and a V. Two-year-olds don't have much of a concept of time, as in calendar days and weeks. Instead, they mark the days by the passage of routines. Regular schedules are comforting for toddlers, as are consistent rules. It's time for Nene, because look, there's no more sun. Okay? Oh, good girl. When playing with other children, two-year-olds play side-by-side -side in parallel play often doing the same or similar activities, but without much interaction. And don't get mad if your child doesn't share his or her toys. Part of becoming independent is taking possession of favorite objects. Polite social behavior will come in time. The nutritional needs of babies and toddlers are different from those of adults. This is a great time to start discussing preventing obesity. Our country is facing an epidemic of overweight children and teens who are developing serious health problems such as type 2 diabetes and hypertension. Prevention of obesity starts at this age. The first thing to remember is not to overfeed your toddler. A typical toddler portion is one quarter of an adult portion. The limit on milk is 24 ounces a day, and we recommend changing from whole milk to 1% or skim milk at this time. If you offer your toddler a variety of nutritious foods each day and avoid giving them more than 24 ounces of milk daily, excessive sugary between meal snacks, or more than 4 ounces of juice daily, they will eat an adequate, appropriate amount of calories on their own. This is known as relying on natural hunger to achieve a balanced diet. And it's important to remember that this may happen over several days of eating, not in one 24-hour period. Feeding is an area where parents and toddlers can get into major power struggles. You may be worried that your child is not eating enough or not eating the right kinds of foods. This anxiety may cause you to pressure your child 
who immediately picks up the cue that this is an area for struggle. In battles over food, you, the parent, almost certainly will lose. The more you force your child to eat, the more he or she will resist. If this leaves you feeling out of control, remember that you control the food you offer your child. Eventually, he or she will get hungry and eat. To help your child sleep on his or her own, set a regular bedtime and stick to it as much as possible. Set a nighttime routine that is consistent and signals to your toddler that bedtime is coming. Put your toddler to bed sleepy but awake. Develop positive sleep associations which include a comfortable room temperature and consistent lighting and noise. Avoid what we call sleep props, which are anything that requires your presence or that will not be present when your child wakens in the middle of the night. Examples would include rocking the baby to sleep, music playing, or nursing or bottle feeding. Parenting a two-year-old can be very challenging Here's some helpful advice. Say, ah. Being a two-year-old ah. is not easy. They have learned so much and want to test their independence by doing things themselves. And yet they are still so dependent on the people they love. No. This need to become their own little person, despite their limitations, causes much frustration. And your toddler needs your love and understanding more than ever. In general, it's healthy for children this age to test their limits and try to do things by themselves. Safe, confidence-building activities include getting dressed, washing hands, eating, and brushing teeth. Consistency is important when it comes to setting limits. Remember that your two-year-old is still learning self-control and may have difficulty controlling aggressive behavior. No hitting. All right, sit. That's it. Occasionally, your little angel may just hit, bite, or grab the hair of another child who tries to play with a toy. The best way to handle this is with a brief timeout. Be clear and calm about the rules by telling your child in five words or less which behavior is unacceptable. Remove your child from the scene of the crime and place him or her in a small chair for about two minutes. Timeout. You're not supposed to hit mommy and you're supposed to listen. Once this brief timeout is over, wipe the slate clean and let your child return to play. Avoid discussing the behavior after the timeout. This might only give your child more attention and act as a reward. You okay? Yeah. You sorry? I'm sorry. Remember, be consistent and firm. Over the next year, you will see your child develop more and more self-control. Right, it doesn't mean you go back on the swing. You want to go on the slide? Hi, my name is Kimberly, and I'm one of the nurses here at Washingtonville Pediatrics. Here are some reasons to call our office. If your baby has a fever of 103 or greater, or has a fever of 101 or greater, persisting more than 24 hours. If your baby is more irritable than normal, if your baby is not waking to feed or is refusing to feed. If your baby has vomited more than once. If your baby has a severe cough, wheezing, or is breathing faster than normal. If your baby, if your baby falls and hits their head hard, especially if there is any loss of consciousness or there is a large visible bump or bruise. So now let's have some fun with your two-year-old. Your two-year-old has a very active body and mind. Keep him or her stimulated through outdoor play. Children this age love climbing on age-appropriate playground equipment and going down the slide. They also enjoy playing in the sand and splashing around in a wading pool. 
Although toddlers aren't ready for full-fledged sports, they can enjoy tossing a ball around. Let your child practice holding, rolling, throwing, and kicking. Back indoors, play language games. Just be sure to make this a game and not a test. <laughs> Show me silly. Show me scared. Can you show me surprised? <gasps> Good! As for music, silly words and upbeat rhythms are always a big hit. Get an assortment of musical instruments to encourage your child's participation. Two-year-olds can draw, color, and finger paint. Get big paper and washable supplies. Then let them get messy. Oh, wow. Good time! Can I do it again? Yeah. Kids this age also love to pretend, especially at being a grown-up. Listen to her heart? Yeah. Good toys to encourage imaginative play are dolls, toy farms, okay. pots and pans, plastic food, puppets, toy cars or trucks, and a child-sized table and chairs. A little bit of TV or a video is not harmful for children this age, but limit viewing to no more than an hour at a time, once or twice a day, and make sure the content is age appropriate. As language expands, your child will enjoy nursery rhymes and stories even more than before. Books can also help feed your child's imagination. Two-year-olds can now follow a story and will often ask questions about the characters and the plot. And very hungry. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again when your child is three years old.